So we're getting set for day number two of the Shaw Classic, and we've moved up to Estes Park. Brian, first of all, what did you think of day number one? I thought day number one was great. I mean, it was, it was great to see uh, so many awesome performances and um, just to see this event happening and coming to life uh, meant the world to me. So uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. You're in first place. So the strategy for you going into day two is going to be what? I just got to perform. I mean, that's uh, really the name of the game with Strongman is you, you can't have any weak events. You need to be consistent through all the events. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. From one four-time champion to another four-time champion. <laughs> so Brian, what can we expect today? So today we've got the uh, Hummer Tire Deadlift. So that's for Max. Uh, we're going to build up hopefully to a really big weight there. Going to Circus Dumbbell, which is 242 pounds, uh, uh, 110 kilos. Uh, so a, a pretty big weight on that for reps, and then we'll uh, finish it off as any good strongman contest should with the Atlas Stones. And it's a, a pretty heavy six stone run today, so I think it's really going to test the guys. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, we are set to go with day two of the Shaw Classic. All right, so here we go, day number two of the Shaw Classic. We're going to start things off with the Max Hummer Tire Deadlift. And the opening weight on this is going to be 830 pounds. American Trey Mitchell has the honors of going first. Trey is a strong deadlifter. But I, I don't know how many of these guys have tried the Hummer Tire Deadlift before. He gets it. So the 27-year-old from Lumberton, Texas, is successful on his first lift. So Luke Stoltman now, the 36-year-old from Invergordon, Scotland, will be the next man to attempt this. Again, we're starting off at 830 pounds. That's 377 kilos. So two competitors in, two successful lifts. And now we move on to Alexei Novikov. He is the reigning World's Strongest Man champion, the 24-year-old from Kiev, Ukraine. Well, he, he just won, he won the world at World's Strongest Man. He won, won the deadlift, uh, which is slightly different. It's 18 inch height, mm -hmm. the bar. Uh, this is slightly lower. Uh, this is not as low as a normal deadlift bar would be. Temperature a little different here in Colorado at 7,000 feet in the snow, and he's uh, <laughs> He won World's Strongest Man last month in sunny weather down in Florida. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little cold up here in the mountains. <laughs> but he's from Ukraine. He, he was used to it. They get cold winters. So Alexi being very deliberate with that 830 pounds, but he is successful. Adam Bishop will be next up, 31 years of age from Grey Shot, England, Britain's strongest man in 2020, second place at Europe's strongest man this year, and sixth at the world's strongest man last month in Florida. Well, Adam is, is a hell of a deadlifter. Yep. He made that look easy. Yep, you get a good look over at Van Hatfield, one of our judges, along with Chad Coy, and they give him the approval, so it goes down. Moving on in the competition, and it's worth noting now while we have just a second, it, uh, unfortunately, Terry Hollins is unable to compete here on day number two, so he has withdrawn from the competition, and he came into this not 100% and tried to go on day one and might have done more damage, but he, he decided probably smartly to shut it down. Yeah, it was too bad, because Terry is a good deadlift. This, this would have been a good event for him. This is Canada's J.F. Carone now. Placed third at the World's Strongest Man most recently. And Man, it makes it look this easy. This is such a strong event for him. So J.F. Carone makes that pretty easy. Now we move on to Brian Shaw. Now remember, Brian Shaw coming into day number two had the lead. 23 points, a half a point ahead of fellow American Jerry Pritchett, who's sitting on 22-5. In third place is J.F. Carone with 18-5, a half a point ahead of fellow countryman Maxime Boudreau with 18. So that's the overall standings, the top four right now, as Brian Shaw currently in the lead. Well, Brian needs a good, 
good score in, in the deadlift. Uh, you got a Jerry Pritchett coming, and he's mm -hmm. only half a point behind. And this is the favorite event for Jerry. So Brian has to give it all. Nice and strong, Brian. Oh, come on. Easy. Yep. Athlete's good position. Athlete's ready. Time is ready. Brian Shaw, current leader in competition, 830 Brian. pounds. Here we go. Let's go, Brian. Come on, Brian. Get it. Up, up. Nice and smooth. Yep. This is 30 year old Kevin Ferris out of Utah. So we've seen some different methods. If some guys are taking it really slow, gradually bring it up, some guys, I mean, pop it up real quick, which you said is probably not the best thing to do. Uh, you, if, you, if you watched, uh, you saw Luke do that. Mm -hmm. and it, the uh, whole bar, the whole weights were wobbling. And so, you, it, like I said, if, if you do that, it, it, it can punish you, actually. It can throw you off balance, so, you, so you'll, you, you're not able to hold it at the top. Now, Maxime, he's been working hard on the deadlift. It's not one of his favorite things. Yep. Maxime Boudreau of Canada gets it done. He's currently in fourth place. Just sitting behind J.F. Caron. And Brian Shaw leads the way. And that takes us to our final competitor here in the first round of the Max Hummer Tire Deadlift Day 2 of the Shaw Classic. Todd Harris alongside Magnus for Magnus and Jerry Pritchett. And this is a guy that you think will do very well in this event. Well, I'm pretty sure he will. Uh, he is so good at the deadlift. If he's healthy, you know, he's bad, no, injuries not bothering him, I really can't see anybody getting him on it. Wow. Made it look really easy there. Yeah. Head that, was, up. that was almost with a smile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to 880, it's 400 kilos. So here we go, the second round here at the Max Hummer Tire Deadlift on day two of the Shock Classic. Trey Mitchell, the American, the 27-year-old out of Texas, be the first man to step up to 880 pounds. That's 400 kilos even. Well, he should pull this easy. Looking at his first lift, this should be relatively easy as well. Yeah, nice easy pull for Trey Mitchell. Trey looking to get some points here. Currently sitting on 15 points, which has him into eighth position. When do you, th when do you think we'll start seeing guys drop out? Do you think it'll be at uh, 9.30, 9.80, somewhere around there? Somebody might drop on this way. Well, the next won't be one. Luke Stoltman. <laughs> Not Luke Stoltman, no. This is Alexei Novikov, the 24-year-old from Ukraine. Well, like Nine. I said, uh, the hammer tire that left that kind of bar, you know, not, you're not familiar with it. You're, 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 everybody's not using it, not really that much used to using it. So they'll take it carefully, I think, and pretty much try every weight or close to that. Athletes take position, athletes ready, hunters ready. Gets it after a slight hesitation. So Novikov is successful at 880 pounds, 400 kilos as well. So Adam Bishop is a pass on that weight, and it takes us to JF Caron. 38 years of age out of Quebec City, Canada. He's been around the sport for a long time. We were talking this morning in the hotel lobby of one of his first events in which he'd been to. And man, I think back to some of these. Uh, he's seen some of the really great World's Strongest Man competition. He's always there. He's a, he's a great strength athlete. He's always up there, always up in the top. Oof. Nine oh, times Canada's Strongest Nothing. Man. Made it look easy, didn't he? 
And so that'll take us to Kevin Ferris. One of the four Americans in the competition, Kevin Ferris out of Utah, finishing seventh at the most recent World's Strongest Man competition down in Florida. Well, he's proved himself. He is one of the best in the world. I tell you, you make the final at the World's Strongest Man, that's a pretty big deal. Okay. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah, Ferris is in. So Kevin Ferris successful, 880 pounds. Well, he really needs this one to yeah. stay in. Sitting at 18 points overall, so he's five points behind Brian Shaw, the current leader in the competition as we start day number two. Maxime will call it a day. So he bows out at 880. And it'll be Trey Mitchell, the first man to step up. 930 pounds, that's 423 kilos. So back to the top we go, Trey Mitchell set. This will be 930 pounds, so a jump of 50 pounds or 23 kilos. Well, things should start to get interesting. Yep. Nice and smooth for Trey Mitchell. So he's successful, nice 930. Yeah. All right. So what's Luke going to do now? That one really hurt Luke, but he got it up. <laughs> he guessed it. He's still but smiling. <laughs> he had to work for it, though. <laughs> That was double from effort. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Adam Bishop now. Adam Bishop with the pass and successful. Wow. So quick. That's there. Good pull. Yeah, Kevin Ferris gets it done. The question is, is, is Jerry's, you know, just Pulling on 80%? Yeah. But is he going to pull on 100%? Yeah, is he still reserving some energy on that? Are you ready? 
Initially, it looked like it was a little bit of a strain for him, but he motors right through it. Yeah. So the official word now is 980 pounds, 445 kilos. I think there's a couple athletes that are talking about passing and waiting for the next weight, which would be 1,000 pounds. That's not messing around weight anymore. We still got every alpha in the game, don't we? No, we've lost uh, Maxine Boudreau. Yeah. And of course, Terry Hollins, who's uh, withdrawn yeah. from the competition because of injury. But we so only, we're only, only lost Maxime so Maxime far. Maxime so far, correct. So here we go, moving on. This is 980 pounds, 445 kilos. And Trey Mitchell will be the first man He's to attempt. He's good so far. Yeah. But this is starting to be a serious weight. Wow. See how slow and just, I mean, no question about it. Good job. But right now, it's all about Luke Stoltman. 980 pounds. <laughs> and Luke unable to get it done, so he will bow out at the 980 mark. just unbelievable. <laughs> so Alexi is in. He's still there. Come on, Jeff. Easy. 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 But I believe this should be no problem. Mm -hmm. He thought about it. He thought about it just for a second, and then he said, you know, I might as well just get this done. JF Caron successful. Current leader in the competition at 23 points with three events to go today. It's Brian Shaw, the 38-year-old from nearby Brighton, Colorado. Well, he needs this. Because there's so many guys st still in. But he needs to be in there with them to go for the next wave. Shaw successful at 980, but the four-time World Strongest Man champion, that did not, did not look comfortable for him. So this is Kevin Ferris. Oh, he gets it. Good job. Van Hatfield made him wait a little longer, won a full lockout. And this is Trey Mitchell out of Lumberton, Texas now, still in the competition. Two athletes have dropped. We're at 1,010 pounds, 1010 or 459 kilos. That's a big weight. Does he have what it takes? Wow. Wow, he gets it. Trey feeling pretty good about that lift of 10-10. He's done a good job. He's been passing on multiple weights, so he's actually saving some energy, but it's, it's a bigger jump for him. After he... I believe he should pull this, no problem. Wow, Adam Bishop easy at 10-10, so the strategy paid off. He saved himself multiple lifts. Oh, 
Well, I don't think he's going to get it after this. Yeah, that was a tough one. Remember, he's got 75 seconds. Not feeling it, so yeah. Kevin Ferris will bow out at 10-10. He's been doing good, though. Yeah. Sure has. Oh, wow. Jerry gets it done at 10-10. So impressive stuff there at 10-10, Magnus. Uh, we're going up to 1040, another 30 pounds on the bar. He's in here. 473 kilos. All right, we continue on. Day number two of the Shaw Classic, Max Hummer Tire Deadlift. First event of the day, and the weight now is 1,040 pounds, 1040 or 473 kilos. Trey Mitchell, first, first up. To try out the four tires on each side. Let's see what he does. Wow. Look at the bend in that bar. <laughs> Trey Mitchell gets it done at 1040. This guy just keeps fighting. Yeah. He, he, he keeps coming back and back and, and performing. He is the reigning world's strongest man, Alexei Novikov from Ukraine. He gets, he gets that. It. <laughs> that actually looked easier than the last one he yeah, did. It did. Smoother. <laughs> that should be no problem for Adam. Yeah, Adam, Adam Bishop now, 1040. Bishop. 31 year old from Gray Shot, England, it has moved on after completing the lift at 1040. 1040, 473 kilos. He'll pull that easy. That lift is one of his stronger events. JF Caron. The only problem he has looked like the bar snagged on his pants just a little bit. Yeah. Brian Shaw now at 1040. He needs this to stay in there. to fight for that one. Yeah, he did. So a pass from Jerry Pritchett at 1040, and we're going up to 1060 now. Holy cow. Jerry's feeling confident here. I'll tell you what, when you're passing at 1040, that is, <laughs> that takes some serious stones. Yeah. Some serious Atlas stones. Which, by the way, is coming up later today, the third and final event, day two of the Shaw Classic. Good opportunity for us now to thank the sponsors that are making this happen. Shaw Strength, Evolution Athletics, Undefined Nutrition, Rogue Fitness, and the good folks at Trifecta, keeping the athletes fed all week. So this is Trey Mitchell. The bar is now 1,060 pounds. That's 482 kilos for Trey Mitchell. Mitchell. Trey is doing well here. He is putting the pressure on. Adam Bishop, here we go. Come on. Come on. 10 60 Bishop successful. Just when we thought this might be starting to weed everyone out, these boys just keep on powering. Wow. 
If it's possible to make 1060 look easy, Jerry Pritchett just did it. <laughs> he sure did. So Trey Mitchell will be the first man to step up to 1080. That's 1,080 pounds, 491 kilos. We'll see what the Texans can do with this. This is so much weight. Almost so there, and he's gonna bow out. So Trey is done, but that was a great attempt. As Luke Stoltman calls him, the spicy Texan. <laughs> and Adam Bishop has had a lot of good makes. Well, he needs this. <laughs> Britain's strongest man That's gets it, it done. Adam Bishop with a huge lift. Wow, JF Corona make it look easy. I mean, that was one quick motion. <laughs> I think he's just making fun of us here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always pulls out a little bit more out of his sleeve. Yep, and he had a strategic pass at 1080. So we'll see how that pays off for Alexei Novikov now. Go on, Go go go! He's still got time. And give it another shot. Uh, he put so much into yeah. that first one, I don't think. But he's got it. Ah, just can't get it up. Out of his hands. It's a 70, or excuse me, a 60 second time limit, so he still has time. Adam Bishop's going to give it one more shot at 1,100 pounds. Just can't get it. Uh, he quite did lock that first uh, first one out, and the uh, that was a good call. He didn't get it. Yep. So Jerry Pritchett of Phoenix, Arizona, the 39-year-old, will step up first, finishing fourth at the most recent World's Strongest Man. This is 1,100 pounds, 500 kilos. So let's do this happen. And Jerry gets it. So Jerry Pritchett puts the pressure on, successful at 1,100 pounds. And that's going to be huge for him if he can pick up. Remember, he's sitting currently in second place behind Brian Shaw by only half a point. So here we go. This is J.F. Carone at 1120, 1,120 pounds. He's put, putting pressure on Jerry Pritchett here. If he gets this one, wow. He gets it. J.F. Carone at 1120. Woo. Carone is really looking good in the And he made here. that look so easy. 2017 America's Strongest Man. Right now, all he's thinking about is 1,120 pounds. That's 509 kilos. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Let's go. I must say, though, you know, JF is looking 
really good yeah. in that. Well, let's see if Jerry can give him a run for the money. Gets it. But we're getting ready to possibly see a world record here, Magnus. Uh, the current world record is 1,155 pounds held by Zudruna Savikas of Lithuania, but we're going 1,159. That's 1,159.5 pounds. If either J.F. Krohn or Jerry Pritchett, or both of them were successful, new world record. That's a big weight. It's a big jump as well. But looking at how they were lifting, I would say JF has a more, yeah. more of a chance. So here we go, the final two men in the Max Hummer tire deadlift. It'll be JF Corone against Jerry Pritchett. The weight, 1,159.5 pounds. This will be for a new world record. Well, this is a big jump. But looking at JF previous lift, I'm pretty confident he can do it. Current world record 1,155. This is 1,159.5 for a new world record in Canada's JF Caron. Oh, yeah. Got it. New <laughs> world record for JF Caron. Wow. Wow. And, uh, Seriously, it looked like he had more than the I was going to say, he looks like he could go up another 40, 50 pounds. Holy smokes. I thought he was going to struggle with it, but no. So this is the story. Jerry Pritchett now is on the hot seat, literally, at the tune of 1,159 pounds, 0. 0.5. If he lifts this, the competition will continue on. If he does not lift it, J.F. Carone is the winner of the Max Hummer tire deadlift. So, what's Jerry Pritchett going to do here? 1159.5. One, one, you can never count him out. This to keep the competition going. Wow. And he gets it. <laughs> what's happening here? So, not uh, one, but two men set a new world record. I'm just speechless. So the bar is now officially set, 1,202 pounds, that's 545.2 kilos. This would be for a new world record that JF Corona and Jerry Pritchett currently hold. That's just on a crazy weight. But looking at his, at his last, last lift, I think he has a chance at it. <laughs> and he gets it. Wow. J.F. Caron is se magnifique. But he, he had to fight for this one. He finally reached the limit. <laughs> 12 02. Jerry Pritchett now trying to keep pace with J.F. Caron of Canada. Can Jerry Pritchett match it? That's the big question here. This is like a 42 pound jump from what he just lifted. Not quite. It was not far off. He was close. He was close. Is he really going to try it again? He's going to reset and try it again. I, I just think he's spent all 
all his energy on that first one anyway. It's yeah. not there, so and J.F. Caron will all. get the win and the world record. 1,202 pounds, that's 545.2 kilos, and 10 points to the Canadian J.F. Caron. Unbelievable weight. He you know, just didn't break the world record, he smashed the world record. The big man on the day setting the new world record at 12.02, J.F. Caron. Uh, coming into today, did you think this was even possible? No, because I never tried it. But uh, I came here with uh, the goal of pull big number on that bar. I know I'm strong in deadlift at the moment, but maybe 500 kilo is already big weight. I was not expected to do 12,000 pounds, you know. Well, that's an unbelievable pull. You did. You you know, you just didn't just break the world record, you smashed it. <laughs> yeah, you know what, 11.60 it was quite easy. And I, I really think I can pull 40 pounds more. Then now uh, somebody need to beat this. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, really well done. Yeah, thank you very much, Magnus. JF Caron, 10 points and the win. Thanks. So the first event on day two of the Shaw Classic goes to J.F. Caron as he gets a new world record, 1,202 pounds, that's 545.2 kilos. He gets the win in the Max Hummer tire deadlift. Second place goes to Jerry Pritchett. What a performance by both men and a strong performance by all the competitors across the board. Next up on day two of the Shaw Classic, it'll be the Dumbbell Clean and Press for repetitions.